Hey gang, Spada here, and today we are taking a look at Reveal the Shield Scourge. Now, I have to admit, when I first saw this figure, I was in love. Loved it from the first second I saw it. It just, this mold works so well for Scourge. I think it's great. Now that's out of the way. Uh, there are a few little niggling issues I have with it, which I'll get into as we go along with the review. But overall, this is a very nice mold, and it works really well as Scourge. You've got the rockets here. You've got three different uh, propulsion units in the back. You've got multiple wheels, which are really, really nice. I'm glad they put those in. And it looks very much like a, uh, an upcoming or a uh, Lockheed Martin design project. In fact, I think Lockheed Martin is designing um, a new spacefaring vehicle that looks similar to this, except with uh, the thrusters up all along the top and the wings are pointing up. The one issue I have with this mold or this mode is why are the wings pointing down? I don't understand that. It is that an aeronautical thing? I am not an aeronautical engineer. I love my planes, but. I have no idea why the fins are, or the tips of the wings are pointing down. Um, maybe it's because, it's probably because this mold is lacking a tail fin. That's probably why. I, I'm probably wrong on that, but that's my guess. So getting him into robot mode actually is a little tricky. It's, it's different than what you might think. So to start, we're actually going to take the wings and fold them completely down. I swear I've seen something that looks like this before. I don't know what. Anyway, so push that down, and then you have to kind of wiggle the wing and the whole undercarriage assembly up like, or away from the rest of the figure like that. And then you take the whole section and swing it around. And I like to just leave it pointing down like that. Next, we're going to take this whole, this section, these will form the arms here. We're actually going to rotate this, which forms the head, up, and then pull the head up. Whoa, pulled it up a little too hard. Pull it up just so it has clearance. And be, and there is the mighty Scourge Beard. Next, we're gonna. I like to put my thumbs here, right by the Decepticon symbol, and push up. This will begin sliding this whole section up. Now, getting it back into vehicle mode, that is the hardest part, by far, is that is the hardest part of getting it back into vehicle mode. Next thing we're gonna do is take the whole cockpit section and rotate it 180 degrees, and split it open, and fold the cockpit sections down to form the legs. Then reach under here, grab it, and just flip it forward to form the feet. Rotate them forward, and we have the figure standing out. Now on the back, there's a, a hole here for this part, and then these pegs will plug into those sections on those holes in the back. They don't really stay all that well, but they're there. It just keeps it from flopping around, I'm pretty sure. To form the arms, this is actually pretty interesting. You'll take the thrusters and fold the thrusters away from the figure. Then you'll pull, then you'll take this and pull, flip them out away from the figure as well and untap them. Then pull them out. And what I like to do is completely fold that away. When you get to this point, you'll then take the entire section and rotate it around. Yes, Kitty, I know, amazing. And then there are tabs that will actually fit inside the thruster parts which form the shoulder blades. And then to fold that whole assembly down to form the arms and then kind of push them up into the robot's shoulders. Remember what I said? This doesn't stay on all too. This doesn't stay plugged in all well. Then there's a slider here to push the fists out and just get them in a uh, position. Here we go. Now you see that that does come apart pretty easily. It is a little bit annoying, but oh well. And here we have Scorch, and the Tracker. Now, if I found like eight or nine of these things at a uh, on sale at Target for like four bucks a piece, I would buy a bunch of them just so I could have Scorch and his sweeps. 
I absolutely adore this figure. I think this thing is great. And it's a great addition to Galvatron and Cyclonus. Cyclonus himself was a phenomenal figure. Galvatron was a little bit iffy. But this guy is great. Absolutely great. One issue. One major issue, though. Where is the reveal of his shield? I mean, his shield is right there. He is a Decepticon. There's no rub symbol on this guy. At all. And he's in revealed the shield toy line. Okay. He does have a, nif a nifty feature, though. His wings open up. And you just have to get your nail in there and open to ply them, pry them open. Because there's really no other way to do it other than maybe back here. And he's got not one, but two guns. Which is very cool. His first gun is just folded out. There you go. His second gun looks more like, a, I guess, his Target Master gun. And it folds down like that, and that can fit in this hand. So he can dual wield. But then, on top of that, this little gun, you fold that back up, and there's a clip right there. And that clips right on to his other gun. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe that's the way Fracas looks, his target master from G1. That is just awesome on so many levels. I absolutely adore this figure. He looks great in both modes. He's got a fun transformation. His accessories do something awesome. He's got articulation. Uh, his butt, sh his, oh, I forgot to mention that his uh, butt shield can actually fold out. He's got plenty of articulation in the legs. Unfortunately, his feet are only so articulated. They do swivel, which is nice. And I am struggling to get a good pose. I suck at posing figures. The other thing you could do with the gun is you could actually clip it onto his head, but it looks silly, so I'm not going to do that. I, I just absolutely... I love this figure. It's, it's just a great figure. It's just a great... It's got great gimmicks. It just holds together really well and is a phenomenal figure. Getting him back, though, is a little bit tricky, which I'm going to show you. So we'll forego putting the guns away for right now. Actually, no, I'll go ahead and show that to you. So just getting the wings open is just a little bit of a... is a little dangerous, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I tried having him out with his wings open. He just looks silly like that, though. So, that one goes on that side. And they have to go on these sides. They just do. That's the way the plastic's molded. So, get that together. Get his arms taken care of. And I'm doing it wrong. And if you hear what sounds like pitter, 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 pitter. That is uh, my cat's. It is uh, kitty playtime, apparently. So, that, there we go. All right, this is where it gets a little weird. First thing we're going to do is get the feet folded back up. And that is a little tricky sometimes. There we go. So the next thing is getting the torso back to the way it was. What I like to do is pull out, sometimes just pull the arms out just to get them out of the way. Then you have to take the whole front section and just push it down and unpeg it from the rest of the robot, or from the robot's head. And then if you... I don't know if you just saw, but by pulling these out, when you unpeg it, you then push them in, and sometimes, and I'm lucky this time, the whole chest section will just slide down on its own, because there are gears in there, and the cats are still fighting now. Then we'll collapse the head. Yep, cats are fighting. Collapse the head and rotate that forward. 
then take the whole wing section, rotate it back around, get everything lined up, and then just snap it into place. Now I had to do this a couple of times before I got it, before I mas quote unquote mastered the transformation. You're going to have to do it a couple times too, because the directions, well, they kind of suck. But this figure, other than that, this figure is great. Uh, the only real complaint I have is the fact that there's no real paint in this mode. I would, I think I'm going to take my uh, my Gundam marker to it and just get these wings painted because that would look really cool. But as a Scourge figure for updating for the classic slash generation slash reveal the shield line, this guy's awesome. I mean, it it is totally worth your money to pick this one up.